Hi friends. So today I have been asked by a lot of you about this fun little brush called the Filbert brush. Uh, this is a Princeton Filbert brush and it's a number eight size. So as you know, I typically always use my round Princeton brush, um, velvet touch, but I'm going to show you a few things I actually like about the Filbert brush um, and some of the flowers that I think it does really well on. Um, and to be quite honest, you know, I hadn't used this in so long, I had to kind of play with it this morning for a bit to get the feel of it. So what's kind of fun about it is the bristles are automatically in a kind of a uh, flower petal type shape. You know, they're this type of shape. So they're already kind of made to go into create a flower with not a lot of effort. Um, I think the biggest trick with the Filbert brush is learning how to press into the brush flat and then twist the brush and create that little lip there, that little thin piece. So let's try it again. We press and create that little lip, or I'm calling it a lip, but that little thin piece. So that is gonna be probably the biggest challenge and that will just take practice, um, thick, and then twisting your brush to get that narrow little piece because say the flower is right here, you want it to get a little bit narrow. Now, if you're really having a, a hard time getting that, what you can do is go ahead and create your petal and then come back and use the side of the brush and just make your two thin lines. So there's nothing wrong with that. I think where this becomes really fun is holding it vertical, pressing down on it, and then creating some of these. It can create some really fun little uh, teardrop shapes. This also comes in handy for um, little leaves and things like such. So that's kind of some of the things I'm gonna be showing you. Um, I also found it makes a fun little daisy you know, something like that. I, I'm finding that the way I use this brush is really on its side, interesting. So, you know, that's just kind of where it came into kind of useful, became useful for me, is using it on its side, kind of like this and pressing in, so press, pick up and get that little side. Press, pick up. Now that's just my way of using it. You can also do it like this and come at it like this and twist your brush. Or you can go like this and then come in and just turn your brush sideways and make that little thin piece. So let's play with this a bit and just create some fun little flowers. I feel like it really makes a, a very pretty peony. Um, so I'm, I'm going to use my Quinn Magenta because that just shows up so well on camera. So we're going to, be, you know, Quinn, I mean, uh, peonies are real fluffy. So I think that's why I'm feeling it, it would make a really fun little peony. So let's start with our middle and then twisting that brush, okay? Or you can come back in and then using the side of my brush and coming in and, and creating those little thin pieces, you know, like this and maybe just pressing down to create a couple 
brush petals there is how I'm basically going to use this brush. So let's just do that again. Let's create our middle petal, twisting my brush. So I'm starting this way. As I get to the end, I start twisting my brush, okay? And then using the side of my brush, like so, those petals in front, okay? So I do find myself using the side of the brush a lot more than I probably would use the full brush just flat down unless I was doing like a daisy, which I can kind of show you here because I think it did make a pretty nice daisy as well. So let's go into, I'm just, you know, I love this color. So with these bottom leaves here, I just really kind of dabbed it down like so. Let's do it again here and make one more. So pressing, twist, and then framing that middle flower, pressing into make the two front flowers. Now I might go in with a little bit more magenta, add in a couple little fluffies here and there. Okay, the one thing I will tell you that I have kind of had a hard time with is creating those narrow little stems. So let me show you here because I'm really used to getting the nice thin stems with um, the point of my round brush. So let's go in here and just kind of, I'm using the brush on its side and trying to put as light a pressure as I can to get those stems. Now I might go in here and create push, twist, push, twist. See there? So it does make some nice petals. Push, twist, push, twist. Like that, you could even do some little teardrop petals using it on its side and just pressing. Something like that. Push, twist, push, twist. Okay, I'm gonna go in and create some darker uh, petals in there. I'm sorry, leaves in there to give it some interest. Push, twist, push, twist, push, twist, push, twist. Like that, push, twist, okay. So there you go, um, push, twist. And then let's create a little daisy because I thought it did a pretty good job with the daisies as well. Um, I'm going to go in and just create the center of my flower using, let's use some of this burnt sienna and maybe a little Prussian blue like that. Okay, I want to create this dark center. So let's just put that right here. And I'm just very lightly, now this is an area that I would have to kind of work with to be able to create, you know, with my round brush, I just go in and make little dots. This, I can't quite do that because it doesn't have that tip. So I'm just going to lightly tap in. So let's practice that a little bit. So I'm just using kind of the edge and going to try and make the center of a daisy. Now that came out a lot darker than I really wanted. I kind of wanted some yellow, something like that. Okay, now let's create our daisy leaves, which I think could be really pretty here. I was trying to find a daisy I made. Don't see one offhand. Um, so I wet my brush. There's no paint on it. And I'm just going to pull out from the center with a damp brush, okay? So using the side of my brush, 
light pressure and then making it a little bit bigger. Side of my brush, light pressure, making it a little bit bigger. So I'm not sure if you can see those. Point press, okay? Point press, point press. Okay, isn't that pretty? I actually really like that. Kind of digging that. Point press, point twist. So I'm creating kind of these little white leaves. Now here I might make those little petals a little shorter because they're in the front. I could even go in in the back and add some little things like that. Maybe add in some more yellow. Okay. So just like that, I think is actually kind of pretty. Now, once this dries a little, I might go back in there and add in more of a center. But I think I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Now, another flower we could do is kind of a thinner stemmed um, little daisy. So let's try that. Let's see, what color should we use? I'm gonna go in with the Quin Magenta and then probably add some orange into that. So let's go right here. I'm not really making a composition right now. I'm more kind of showing you some of these flowers you can do with this brush. Um, so let's, let's kind of have a little spiky daisy coming out here. I'm gonna make the center like so. I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit and come out with these. So this is where this brush is fun for me. I use the side, I'm, hold, I'm not pressing down flat. I'm using the side of the brush. And this is quite fun for me actually. I kind of like the little shapes it's making. So I kind of like that. That's fun using the, the side of this brush. Now that I, I really like. I think that makes some really interesting. I'm gonna kind of balance this out and put one over here. And this is kind of these teardrop shapes kind of daisy-like. So those are fun. Now I'm gonna go into the center with a little bit of that brown again, or even that pink is kind of pretty. The brown and the pink. Hold on one second here. And just dab in with the side of my brush here. Okay, and let that spread a little. So there you go. Um, I think this brush does a really good job on, let's see, chrysanthemums would be really good. Um, let's try that here. I'm going to do a purple chrysanthemum here. So we got a lot of, a lot of flowers going on here. So let's just use the side of that brush again. And... Something like that. And I might add in a tiny bit of blue to that, just to make like a deeper purple. Now see here, I'm, I might struggle a little bit because I feel like I have to work a little bit harder to get those thin lines, but that's okay. It's just, you know, I'm not quite used to using this brush. So I'm just dabbing in, in the center here, and curling these little chrysanthemums up. Now let's go in and try and create that thin uh, petal. So I wash my brush, rinse it, and let's go in and try and create a little stem here. Now see, this is where I struggle a little bit. I feel like I can't quite get that um, 
thin stem that I might like. That's okay. Okay, same here. There we go. This does do quite nicely with, um, see there, I feel like I couldn't quite get that thinness that I like, but that's okay. Because it makes up for it in other ways. Okay. So let's keep going here. I really wanted to show you, I think it makes a beautiful eucalyptus um, petal because of the shape. So eucalyptus pe shape petals are kind of oblong, uh, uh, like oblong oval. So let's just add in some eucalyptus here. So I'm going to, again, use the side of my brush, thin and then thick and kind of bring it around. Thin and thick, thin and thick. I'm gonna add in a little blue because I just love blue in eucalyptus petals. So I, I gotta add some of that in there. Thin, thick, thin, thick, thin, thick. So there you go. I think this does a really good job with that. Let's add a few more eucalyptus over here. Um, or let's have one coming out here. Thin, thick, thin, thick. So look at that. It does a really good job with eucalyptus leaves. I think that's a definite yes for this brush. Something like that. Now, I might go in and, because I can't stand it here, you guys, I feel like I want that little thin line. So I'm gonna go in and just join this wet and wet and connect these little eucalyptus leaves with that thin line. Um, let's go into this kind of yellowish, whitish, grayish. <laughs> I think I intended it to be white, but with a little bit of that hue of yellow and gray. And let's just create a center there because I think that could be an area where I'd have to work a little. So I'm just going in like that, okay? Now the other thing I think this um, would be work really well is to create some of those little ferny type of, I'm gonna add a few more eucalyptus here. Um, thin, thick, thin, thick. It makes the perfect little disc shapes, honestly. I think that's really great. That, that would definitely be a way I would use this brush. Now I'm going to also work, cause I talked to you so much about this with some different values in here. I know it doesn't have anything to do with the brush, but thin, thick, so look at that. Okay, look at that, that beautiful interest. Thin, thick, thin, thick, thick, thin. Create a couple up here, thick, thin. And I think this brush also does really well with those little teardrop shapes if you use it on its side. So that's what I wanted to show you right now is kind of creating some of these little frilly um, side type of strokes I think could be really great kind of coming out here and there. So I'm just dabbing the side of this brush. So I'm holding it sideways. And that is really fun. I think that is another really great use for this brush. This painting's getting a little busy because I really didn't plan out this composition, but that's okay. Um, I hope this gives you a good idea of ways to use this brush and is kind of what you're looking for. Um, I think it really could be a fun brush to use once you get used to it, to know that, you know, it's, it's not really going to be that fine line brush. Although, as you see right here, 
I'm getting a little bit of fine lines, but for the most part, it's not really going to be that fine line brush. Now, just to take this opportunity for a second and create some really light value uh, petals to show you. So there's a little lighter value. Let me lighten that even more, like so, like so. So there you go. I hope this was helpful. I'll put all of my notes and supplies in um, the description and have fun with this brush. Really practice that pressing down and twisting and getting these little teardrop shapes. And um, I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much, friends. See you soon.